What's cracking, YouTube? Welcome back to Myers Two Stroke RC Garage. And today, guys, what we're gonna be doing uh, is we're gonna be taking this out back, and uh, we're gonna be testing out the doing a shakedown rip with my uh, homemade hinge pin brace. And uh, I fixed the exhaust. I, I welded this hanger on here, this exhaust loop hanger, and I put some new springs on it here. I'm, I'm, uh, before we go rip, I'll give, get you guys some close-ups. But we're gonna go out and do a sh shakedown rip with this and uh, see how everything holds up and all that stuff. So let me get you down here closer and I'll show you a little bit of what, 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 what I got going on. All right, guys, as you can see, I welded on that, uh, that exhaust, I call it a hanger or whatever, that loop. And I put new, two new springs on and then I put that new spring on there. There's my hinge pin brace that I made. So we're gonna see how that thing holds up. All right, so we're gonna go rip. And before we go rip, another thing I wanted to mention is I got channel memberships live going on in my chamber. So if anybody wants to uh, become a channel member of the shop crew, uh, you can become a uh, channel member and uh, all that stuff. So just click on the link in the description and go through the process to become channel member. Channel member, and uh, you can you can become a channel member. Uh, I got that stuff going. I wanted to mention that stuff and all that stuff. So why don't we go ahead and get out there and rip and see what it's like. All right, guys, let's see if we can tear up some soil, tear out some grass. That's a good start. That is loud, guys. Need to adjust my brakes up a little bit.
I got covered. Seems like it's holding up pretty good for the most part. guys man that was a heck of a good first rip uh man that was that was nice everything held up my springs are still on my hinge pin brace is still in there everything's still intact i don't have any missing hinge pins or anything like that so uh i guess the real test will be taking it to uh, the fairgrounds or a wide open space or whatever so i don't like running it much you know very long out here in the, the close quarters because not much wind flowing over the head but uh get it out on the fairgrounds or you know in a wide open space and we'll see i gotta avoid that death roll and uh i think i figured out that i think this cage adds a lot of uh center of gravity to my to the top end of it or to the to the top side of it the shiny side or whatever whatever i'm trying to say i think it adds a lot of uh weight to the you know to you know to the weight to how the weight's distri distributed and it has a lot of uh high center of gravity weight because of that cage. So I'm gonna do be, this this off season, I think I'm gonna, you know, go back to the drawing table and I might use pieces of this cage and, you know, some other things. You know, I, I think it just needs to be a little lighter. You know, as long as it protects the expansion chamber and the engine, you know, it should be all right. So anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. You know what to do if you liked it. We will see you in the next one.